Hey folks, Species7 here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're having a look at a game from Crafty Studios called Oil Enterprise, the business simulation. And it is exactly that. It is a business simulator uh, based, well, around the oil industry. Shocker, shocker, shocker. But no worries, guys. These are simply virtual oil droplets who are sucking out of a virtual world. So, you have your choice of scenarios or free game. I would really, really advise, unless you happen to be a, a oil person thing, whatever, for real, then you're really going to get lost quick. <laughs> so, with the scenarios, you get to start with things like tutorials. Now, I've already done it once, but that's sort of where we're going to go with it. So, we loaded that, we loaded our oil field, and we went to meet Isabelle. Hello, Isabelle. How are you doing? Now, uh, being a scenario, of course, they are going to kind of, you know, not let us do some stuff and let us do other things when they say we can. So, but I find it really odd they use these cartoony characters because the game itself, like the buildings, the structures, the things you do, are incredibly realistic. So, Hiya there. First we should make a test drilling. Make a test drilling. Okay. Order an according building. So we go to our building thing here and we go test drilling 400k. Now normally you will have all kinds of options for different types of things but for now this is all they're going to give us. So you click there and then it tells you test drilling. Construction cost, 400 big ones. It will do the 60-foot range and tell us how much oil and what capacity is there. It takes six hours, so let's build one. And, uh, well, apparently, on the mini-map you can see the range of the data gathered by these. Select a position to build. Uh... Okay. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, I uh, clicked the wrong button the first time. You guys didn't notice that, did you? I'm going to go right in the middle. What the heck? All right, building is under construction. Be available in six hours. So, first thing we need to do, of course, is... Uh, thanks, darling crank some time on so that we can get six hours to pass. <laughs> there we are, okay. Now, you saw that the building disappeared. No worries, that's not a bug. That's simply a test drill. As soon as it's finished its job, it goes away. Okay, so now we need to buy ourselves a pump. So, we'll go in here and we'll get ourselves a pump. Now, they only offer a pump jack at this point. Um, that's the most expensive pump available. There are cheaper ones, so don't worry. It ain't always going to cost you 500 thousand dollars to buy a pump. All right, pump jack. Construction cost 520k. Capacity 3,000 barrel. Construction time six hours. So we surveyed an area. So now what we want to do is put this down and as you can see we get sort of, well, apparently 50% is about the best we're going to get. And as long as you stay within the range of where that pump or that original drill was, you can basically drop it anywhere. Now, once you get into the free play or get into later scenarios, that amount will shift. That might go down to like 20% and up to like 80%, depending, and it will list it up here in the top where it says repeat last tutorial step. It will actually tell you what the test drill found for results. Uh, here, apparently, it found 50%. Okay. Well, boss, you know the drill. Activate the clock till the building is done. Okay. There you go. <laughs> All right. Oh, nice sunglasses there, lady. In order to start producing oil, we need more buildings, refining storage, and logistics. I'll build them for you. Okay. I'm Hector. Hello, Hector. Isabella. Yeah? It is too, isn't it? It's not Isabella. Or is it? I don't know. I'm a blurry old man. Forgot something. Maintenance keeps buildings operational and safety prevents accidents. Prevent? Really? Hmm. Thanks, Hector. But most important part, money. Yes. 
To make money, we'll have to produce something. Let's pass some more time. All right, you can see we're actually producing 81 barrels a day. Well, we would be if we actually had time going. So, we still got a million bucks left because she threw in all the other buildings. We only had to pay for this one. Of course, normally you have to pay for all of them. Right. If you click on a building, it'll show you what's going on. Now, this condition, you got to watch that. If you don't watch the condition of your buildings, the buggers just up and disappear. And if you've got like eight different pumps going and three of these storage buildings and all of that, yeah, and all of a sudden you look over and you've gone from, you know, 1,600 barrels a day down to 1,400, and you're going, what's going on, I mean? Well, that's what's going on. <laughs> In fact, I'm just going to wonder if she'll let me. Okay, she put this here. That's a storage tank. She put this here. As you can see, that's a small pump station. What else did she lay down here for us? Anything? Doo -doo -doo. She should have put a refinery some type somewhere. Hmm. Well, I guess at this point she just said she built them, and it's all being represented by that. So, uh, let's go back. Okay, now we have the goods. <laughs> we should sell them on the world market. Okay, so world market, if we click here, thank you, it'll tell us what our current world price for oil is. Now, it's generally lower than what you can find if you accept a contract, but we'll get into that in a bit. So, 77.75 currently. We are allowed 500 barrels. Now what this is determined by is um, how big our pump station or refinery or whatever was, um, what they call logistics, and then how much of that is not being used by contracts. Like right now the building she gave us allows us 500 barrels in our logistics capacity. If we had two contracts for 100 barrels each, it would only allow us 300 barrels, because those 200 barrels would be spoken for. So anyway, simple. You press max to sell the maximum amount, which is, well, in this case, we've only got 301 barrels in storage, which it shows us here, and we can sell them at $77.75 per barrel. Boom. Done. Okay. Contracts make selling oil by region a lot easier. The only catch, you must enter a commitment with them. All right. Contracts you find down here, by the way. See, the problem is, is we're not actually producing 81 barrels of oil a day, or 100 barrels of oil, and all these guys want 100 barrels of oil. Oop. Or you can ask me any time. That's the basics. Okay. And that is, in fact, the basics. And what we'd want to really, really, really do next is... Now, you can either keep pumping oil like a bugger, fill your tank, and sell it on the world market. But like I said, if you look at your world market, 77.75. Okay. If we look at contracts, you'll see they're willing to pay as low as 49. We wouldn't accept that. You'd be an idiot to take that. But they're willing to take as high as 81, even though 77 is the current market. Now, the beautiful thing is, is you will be locked in at that 81 for the full 30 days. You know, or knock off a penny and lock yourself in at 80 for 150 days. That's the advantage. Now, the world market may climb above that. And that ain't so great, but most of the time you'll find you're fighting with it dropping below that price. So tying money into contract or tying oil into contracts is truly, truly the way to go. However, if we want a contract, we got to do better. So let's build ourselves yet another Pumpa Jacka, please. All right. Okay, fifty percent, and that's really the best we're actually going to get. Okay. So, in six hours, we'll have a second jack. And what we'll notice there, our barrel per day just don't jump to 163. All right, so we've doubled our production. Now, if we go in here, um, let's first of all check our world one. Always make sure, okay, that's still sitting the same. So, if we go in here, we're going to accept... I think we're going to accept this one. 
Now it's a penny, or yeah, it's a buck less a barrel, but it's for 150 days they're willing to lock us in at that higher price. And it starts on the 15th of May. Now this is important, okay? This isn't going to start for another 10 days. So don't go, whoa, 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 why isn't my contract working? It will automatically kick in and automatically deliver the oil per day starting then. This is what we'll get in total, one million. Two hundred and two thousand six hundred and six dollars. Um, we do market opinion must be over fifty percent, I guess, for this one to work, and we meet that. So we're going to click here. It will tell us all of this, everything we just went over. It tells us all. It also tells us if we screw up even one day, they're going to charge us three hundred thousand dollars and cancel the contract. So keep that in mind, Fargo Corporation. We're doing business with you there we go now we don't want to accept any more obviously because uh, we only have so much right okay oops I missed that because I went to press the pause button okay now you'll know your contract kicks in because that'll go from 160 something back down to 80 something 13th 14th that should be tomorrow there we go You'll notice we've just dropped to 64 barrels a day. The other 100 barrels a day is being delivered on our contract. Anything in here, this 1586, this is what we're storing. So if you'd like to, you can play the world market while that's going on, right? So if we go here and look, right, we got we can sell up to 400 barrels. So let's do that, make ourselves some money. There we go. And as long as we're still meeting, like this doesn't run out so that we don't end up screwing one of our others. And in fact, we're still producing more than they can uh, use, right? 67 barrels a day. So in the meantime, when you're running contracts, your choice is sort of, I don't want to spend 500k for another pump jack right now. Obviously, because I only have 600, right? And good. Now I'll wait for it to build up a little bit again. And then you can sell a little bit. Now see, we're down to 74.25, but that contract, if we go to active, is still locked in at 80.2. So we're making $5 a barrel more than world market currently and that's great <laughs> absolutely now we can uh, hey flog a little more boom max boom all right that just keeps our you know our bottom line rolling along okay we should be close to that contract are we when does it end? Starts the 15th of May, eh? Okay, so we've got four months remaining. So that's going to be good for a while. And in the meantime, we can, uh, on our constant survey of the deposit composition of Natchez in Gulf region, we broke through a layer of rock which concealed an extra 21,000 liters of oil. Excellent, excellent news. The oil monger in us all delights. Max sell. Max sell. Max sell. So obviously you're going to uh, continue on with this until the first contract is finished. And until you feel like you could comfortably go in here and say, yeah, give me another pump jack. Why would we want to do that? Well, there we go. Because now we're back up to 167 barrels, so we can accept a second contract. Again, always check, see what the current price is, 75.50. Nice. What can we lock in at higher than that? Okay, in this case, there's not... Oh, hang on, let's... Uh, 
Not a lot higher than that. 75.5 is our best contract, really. That would appear. Alright. Well, I'm not going to lock into a contract at that rate, to be honest with you. We'll let our storage build up a little bit, and we'll sell some on the world market, which is much better right now. Oops. <laughs> oh, that's a good price. The difference in waiting half a second too long can just kill you sometimes. All right, let's uh, quickly pause and go back to our contracts. Anybody paying any better? Seventy-nine seven for ninety days, eh? Hmm. But you do want to accept contracts. Understand that because that's what builds up your reputation level. Uh. 79.1 for 120 days. Yeah, we're going to accept that. It's almost a million bucks. So, once that kicks in, we should be doing fairly well. And in the meantime... Oh yeah, 84. Reserve size, they just found another 1100. Oh, I want to sell at 93, you're darn right. Oh, 110, come on. Nice. Ooh, we managed to sell some at 125. What the heck's going on with the price of oil, man? Let's just stop here for a sec. 100 for 30 days, 104, 109. Okay, we know the price of oil is going to drop. Why two star contract? 109 for that length of time. Is there better? Nope, not really, eh? Hmm. Well, we're going to accept that contract. Oh, actually, no. We're not. Never mind. Because we do have a contract about to kick in, don't we? Yes. <laughs> in another four days that other hundred barrels is spoken for so let's just quit being silly and let's have a look at our world market sell so, that price is starting to drop there we go and there, our other contract just kicked in. We're down to 83 barrel, but let's see, we got over a million now. We could drop another jack there, get a third contract, right? And that's basically what you keep doing. Now there are, again, if I click on here, you see this condition 100%? That's only because of the tutorial. You do have to build construction and maintenance. Yes, this is the only thing they're letting us build. There's a huge list of things you build, right? Um, this, for instance, shows maintenance and safety and what it's costing. We can't build them yet, so it's of no use to us. You can change your logo here. It's kind of cool. Um, and then by doing this, you can go to different colors. See? And we can change that part of it. We can make this part, let's say, violet. You know what I mean? Yeah, so there's a little bit of customization. It's kind of cool, right? And then you can accept and that becomes your new logo, right? Um, so not a big deal there. Uh, this one here shows us basically our cost analysis over the last year. What we've done in expenses, cost per barrel with those expenses, blah, 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 blah. Administrative, of course, we have none. What we're producing, 30,508 barrels a day. Our expenses per day, our cost per barrel, etc. So fairly in-depth along those sort of things. Um, the rest of it you've seen. This here, oh, I didn't really show you this. This shows where you are with your capacities. Like currently our, we're, our bottleneck in this whole operation is we could use at least one more pump, okay? Um, 
and it tells you in red, right? Um, it's also, the reason this is yellow and this will go away if we get another pump is because it's telling you we've got unused stuff going on. All right, and it shows you basically all of those things and this allows you to know that okay I need to build one more pump and then let's say you built two and then you looked in here and you find out ah now my refinery is the bottleneck okay the logistics bit we talked about different buildings and there's three of each type three types of pumps three types of refineries and three types of logistics um, and they will they determine when you go in here see it says we have 300 barrels capacity per day right now now we've got two contracts we'd actually have 500 barrels if we had no contracts now by getting a bigger logistics building i could bring that up as high as 3000 which means on days like this when the market is absolutely crazy <clears throat> we could um you know sell possibly 3000 barrels at 126.50 a barrel so but there you go guys that gives you a basic overview of the game like i said there is a lot more stuff to build like there's our small pumping station this 500 barrel that's the logistics thing i was talking about if we had a large one we could have up to 3,000. so there you go that's been our first look if you guys want to see more of this game let me know it is quite a quite an awesome little thing and for early access they're doing really well now I wouldn't mind being able to zoom in a little closer, but again, keep in mind, as far as we know, these could all be just placeholders of what we're going to see eventually. But for the moment, they do look good. They look fairly real, all right? So that's probably going to do it, guys. If you enjoyed this, please hit the like button. It really helps out the channel a bunch. And uh, feel free to leave comments. And like I said, if you want to see more of this game, let me know down below in the comments section. Till next time, this has been Species 7. We've been having a look at Oil Enterprise. Till next time, take care of each other, folks, and ciao for now.